Hey guys, uh, as the first video on this new channel, uh, I guess I want to do an introduction and so I've been playing some tech it lately and basically that is what uh, the core of my videos starting from now will be uh, covering. So anyways, today I'm going to be covering uh, powering an iron furnace and taking power and powering the iron furnace. So uh, to give you a short overview of what we're using, uh, these are solar panels, these are glass fiber cables, this is a bat box. These are copper cables. This is your electric furnace. And for these examples only, these are generators. So first off, to use solar panels, you have to connect it with glass fiber cables. And anytime that you're, I guess, absorbing energy from uh, solar panels, you should use a bat box as soon as you can. One, it stores the energy. Two, uh, this uh, glass fiber cable is a, takes a lot more resources than this copper cable does and it does the exact same thing. I guess if you want to use that go ahead but I advise using this. Anyways as these grab uh, power you can tell because this little dot is lit up or not. Uh, you can see this is filling up with a power of electricity right now and that is sent from that or from the battery box to the furnace. When you're connecting uh, a bat box to um, a an electric furnace or I guess any um, machine for that matter you have to have the uh, copper cable or whatever cable you're using connecting to this dot here and that's if you're using a single output if you're using a, a double output and you're leading to other trails off on the sides it doesn't matter but as long as this one is covered that's all you that's all that needs to be covered for it to work. Basically, that's how it looks. So moving on. If you don't want to use solar, which it takes a bit of uh, takes a bit of resources to create uh, the solar panels and such, but it's pretty efficient. And once you get going, it's easy. Um, the next option is using generators right here. Uh, basically, uh, so you can see this is only powered so much, and what you have to do is uh, throw whatever fuel you're using into the generators. As you put it into the generators, it will charge the bat box. And I guess not necessarily, I suggest using the bat box, like I said, over with the solar panels, but you don't have to, again. So it could look just as simple as this. Um, you fill up your generator, and you can see the power right here and that can work your furnace. This little red arrow here is the amount of power that's left in the furnace. So as soon as you break that, you'll notice that the red arrow starts going down. And as soon as it starts going down, that means you are out of power. This is a quick tutorial and I, whenever I look for tutorials, I look for the quick one. So hopefully this is what you're looking for. If not, post a, put a question in the comments and I'll promise to get to that as soon as I can. And if you have any suggestions or anything that you want me to look into, please write them in the comment section or send me a message. Thanks for watching, and I hope you watch more. Cheers.